I'd do anything for art, but... Do not move! <gasps> but sitting motionless for two hours is too much. <laughs> Still, I'm sorry, but art demands sacrifices. Ugh, enough, Sammy. I can't stand it anymore. Did something happen? Yes, it did. Oh, my arm's asleep. Ugh. I feel uncomfortable. Ugh, I mean, I'm aching all over after posing. Don't you want the world to see my masterpiece? It's very cruel to behave this way to innocent people. Oh, why is this sofa so itchy? Ouch! What is this doll doing here? Sammy, what if she poses for you instead of me? Sue, so, how can I put this? She's kind of not in the best shape after our last craft. <gasps> oh, wait. I know how to fix this. What a delicate work. Do you want to draw her? Of course, but who is she? That is the statue of Aphrodite, the ancient Greek goddess. To make our doll look like a goddess, we need to do some magic. By the way, Aphrodite is the goddess of love. This statue is so beautiful. Yes, Sammy, and this is for a reason. Because she's also the goddess of beauty. Love and beauty. It's a perfect combination. I'd like to meet her. Guys, give a thumbs up if you'd like to be friends with the wonderful Aphrodite. Sammy, there's actually one tiny problem. What problem? She's a goddess. This means she lives on Olympus. So what? I don't think you can meet her. Why is that, Susie? Well, only the gods live up there, you know? How am I not a god? You're a slime, Sammy. But Sue... I am a special slime. Isn't it obvious? Yeah... Very much. <laughs> That's it. When I studied at our God's Academy. God's Academy? Yep, why are you asking? <sighs> Guys, hit the bell not to miss new interesting stories from our Sammy. What do you mean by interesting stories? Anyway, I was an A student. Even if I had some little problems with lightning throwing discipline. Hmm, any reasons why? You know, I'm not the most accurate slime. Plus, I'm afraid of lightning bolts. Well, I'm not afraid of lightning bolts. I actually love them because they're so mysterious. Yeah, very mysterious. Its rumbling is so loud that I want to cover with a blanket and stay in bed. That happens to you every single morning. So what? I don't like to rush. Guys, give a thumbs up if you also like to slow down. Or if you're afraid of thunderstorms, just like Sammy. Me too. I'm just kidding, Sammy. <laughs> you should learn to laugh at yourself. Personally, I don't find this funny. And now? Oh. <laughs> I guess thunderstorms are not your only fear. So I think we need to make a normal hairstyle for the doll. Not just normal, but gorgeous. Let's get started. Who needs a trim here? Tammy, you know trimming is beneath the gods. Actually, we won't need scissors at all. Huh. Hair extensions? Hair gluing. Interesting. First, let's carefully twist a strand of hair. And then glue it. Yeah, Sue, so you're a very particular hairdresser. But this way, her hairstyle won't get messed up during the day. Guys, give a thumbs up if you wouldn't like a hairdresser like Sue. <laughs> Sammy. Ugh, we're making an antique statue after all. It needs special treatment. See? Uh, Sue, your special treatment isn't working. There's still lots of hair sticking up. Are you a slime god or a slime stylist? Let me apply this mortar. We'll get a splendid hairstyle now. Huh, not bad. Oh, thank you, Slime God Sammy. 
You're welcome. Now we need to... Do! It's a disaster! What's the matter? The goddess Aphrodite has already been painted! Some Botticelli did it. I can't repeat it. Oh, calm down, Sammy. You're making your own Aphrodite, remember? But she's totally different. Oh, well, we actually are still in the process. Let's mix two paint colors. Are you making a liquid foundation for Aphrodite? Well, you could say that. <laughs> now we're going to apply it to our Aphrodite. You mean my Aphrodite. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. To your Aphrodite. I ask that you treat my statue with some respect. Sammy, I can't do anything. Beauty demands sacrifices. I don't remember you making sacrifices for art. Oh, is it okay that I was sitting motionless for two hours? Well, either you were posing badly. Or you were drawing slowly. I must say I lean towards the second version. Ahem, <clears throat> art does not allow rushing. Use a brush to work on the unfinished parts. Don't listen to her. You are perfection. Well, I think that nothing's perfect. What about me? <laughs> Our imperfections make us special. I remember. I do have an imperfection. I'm too perfect. <laughs> See? Here's your beautiful Aphrodite. Oh, I will draw her every single day. Hey, tough luck. Sammy, while you were admiring your Aphrodite, I prepared a present for you. Whoa! So what is it? Another Aphrodite? <laughs> Sammy, let's open it so you can see yourself. What could it be? An ice cream? Uh, or some candies? Let's see! Sammy, you're a twinkle toad. Here, let me help you. Ta-da! Now you can draw twice as much. Oh my, but so who is that? This ancient Greek statue is called Discobolus. Huh, he reminds me of someone. I'm ready to compete with him for the attention of my Aphrodite. Tammy, everyone knows you are the best. Thank you for your great compliments, Sue. I think our statues deserve to be exhibited at a museum. Sammy, I totally agree with you. Not to wait. Oh, my beautiful Aphrodite. You're just as gorgeous as I am. Yeah, Sammy, you're great at making compliments. She's worthy of my great praise. Sam, enough drawing. What do you say? Let's go make another craft. So, can't you see I haven't finished my painting yet? Oh, my muse. The whole world will know how beautiful you are looking at my paintings. Actually, the whole world knows it already. What are you saying? <sighs> Guys, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you liked our Aphrodite the way Sam likes her. Oh, Aphrodite, you are so beautiful. Oh, actually, this is too much. Bye-bye.
here. Oh, thanks for catching me. Can't you see that for yourself? This is Wall Street, and that's Times Square. Let me guess, this was supposed to be the Empire State Building? Well, of course, you're going to New York City to study, but I also want to see the Big Apple. But Sammy, we've been through this. I won't have time to look after you. Besides, your New York looks pretty good. Only one thing is missing. Like what? Come on, I'll show you. Wow. Hi, guys. How could Sammy forget about the most remarkable lady in New York? And she's not talking about the Barbie doll. Hi, everyone. Did you know, Susie, that the Statue of Liberty is actually French? And it's more than 130 years old. Yep, I knew that. Hey. And today we're going to make our own version of that sign of liberty enlightening the world. Are you excited, guys? Then give us a thumbs up. We'll start with the statue stand. The hot glue and a few pieces of styrofoam board will do the trick. There we go. Just be careful with the glue gun, people. Don't burn your fingers. That's right. Now we need to secure our future statue like this. Just make sure that you've used enough of the hot glue and that it had time to set well. Huh? And we'll put it here. We've already made something similar once. You are free to check out our channel for that video. Back then we were making an antique statue of Admiral Dighty. Hop, hop. Okay. The Statue of Liberty is an example of neoclassical architecture. Anyone can actually go up the stairs inside the statue and reach its crown. Now we'll use a brush. Guys, we need to dissolve the glue properly. This way. Sue, there are 354 steps inside the statue. I hope we're not making any of those for our craft. No, Sammy, let's only concentrate on the exterior. We're like Frederica Gustavardi and Gustav Eiffel. Ah, I see somebody did their homework. The Statue of Liberty was aligned so that it would face southeast. She greets ships entering the harbor from the Atlantic Ocean. That is why it's also a lighthouse. The second biggest in the U.S. and its height is 107 meters. Her shoes would be like 879 size. Unbelievable! <laughs> yeah, and her nose is a meter and a half long. Shiver me chatters! She would need a ton of cosmetics if she decided that she needs makeup. <laughs> Guys, we need to do this a few more times to make the napkin soak well in the mortar. This will additionally allow us to shape beautiful wrinkles on our statue's clothing. Which, by the way, should look as if it's light. A true sculptor always knows how to do that. You are full of insights today, Sammy. Guys, support him and subscribe to our channel. Let me do this job, Susan. You don't know how to do that properly. Oh, ah! Oopsie. Sorry, Sue. I guess you're right. Here, you can finish this step without me. Like I didn't know that. Whoosh! Great! By the way, when they were in the process of building the real Statue of Liberty, they used 300 different hammers to give it its shape. Just a few more wrinkles and we'll be done here. There you go. Perfect. All right, now we need to let the whole thing dry. Come on, honey, the hair needs some improvement. Whoa, Sammy, what are you doing? Not Sammy, it's Master Samuel. And I've come from France to make everybody here look as perfect as I do. Hmm, what are you doing? Interesting. All we need to do is shape a hair strand how we want it to be. Like this, for example. And then secure it with some glue. Here we go. Well, what do you think about this, Master Samuel? Splendid, Miss Suzanne. And easy. Awesome. Then let's make the rest of her hair look neat. It should work out perfectly for a statue. But guys, don't ever do that to your hair. Never. And if I'm not mistaken, she should have curls on both sides, like this one. A bronze statue can't have protruding hair, Sue. You know what to do. Thanks. We'll use the same water and glue mortar. Hup, hup, hup. Just enough to help us out. Thanks for reminding me of that, Sammy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sue. Oh, that's just what we need. 
Wow, awesome! Thanks to the Daba, it was just the video editing magic and not the real one! Our Barbie looks more and more like the Statue of Liberty. But she definitely shouldn't be empty-handed. Be careful with the cutter, guys! Look out for your fingers! You're making the tablet that she holds in her left hand! By the way, the inscription on it indicates the date when the Declaration of Independence of the United States was officially adopted! Very good, Sammy! And it symbolizes the law establishment! Here you go, my lady! Hold it tight! Guys, we'll be making a torch from a couple of beautiful beads and a piece of a wooden stick. Hmm, that's not it. Awesome! I wonder where Sammy is. I haven't seen him for a while. Boo! Oh, you scared me! What are you up to? <laughs> you know, I gotta say that our statue still doesn't quite look like the original. Hey, Sue! Don't worry, Mr. Inspector. We're not done yet. Stay tuned, guys! <laughs> Guys, did you know that the Statue of Liberty is actually made of copper? It gained its greenish color over the years during the weather's effect on its metal. We are going to get that color from mixing blue and green acrylic paints. Ah, that explains a lot, because I've been really wondering why couldn't they have made her… I don't know, pink? Oh, Sammy, if they asked you all the time, everything in our world would be pink! <laughs> Do you think it's bad? Thank you! I think the more different colors we have around us, the better. Besides, if everything were pink, I couldn't distinguish where you are. You'd be like a chameleon. But now that you're bright and unique, I can always see you from afar. I said always, Sammy. <laughs> Oopsie! <sighs> oh, that naughty little slime. Now we'll use a brush to work on the unpainted parts. Do it carefully, guys. Everything should look neat. By the way, the spikes on the crown of the statue symbolize the seven continents. And 25 windows in the crown stand for the gemstones on Earth. Do you plan to look out from one of these windows, Sue? Of course, if I have enough time for proper sightseeing during my trip to New York. Now, just a few more brush strokes. And done! Awesome! I don't need my magnifying glass to notice that you've missed a spot! Oh, you smarty pants! I didn't miss it! Huh? The lower part of the pedestal should be brown, don't you remember? Here we go! Carefully and neatly! Hmm, I guess something is still missing. Well, guys, I think we're done here! Do you want to check out our own Statue of Liberty? Then follow me! What? Turn around! <gasps> there it is! Incredible! Well, Sammy, are you happy with your personal New York City? Yes and no. When you come back, you'll have a bunch of cool photos, but I won't be in there! Huh. We can easily fix this. Come here! Yippee! All right! A new photo for my Instagram? Check! Now I want an original New York hot dog! <laughs> Let's see what we can do about that. Guys, did you like our craft today? Give us a million thumbs up if you do and subscribe! Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss more cool videos that are yet to come! See you in a bit! Bye-bye, everyone! <laughs>